Hi there, this is Larry101 and I'm going to show you today how to update your TeamSpeak 3 free server. Uh, I think all of you noticed it, that uh, TeamSpeak 3 released a new server version. Um, like you, I already went to YouTube and uh, to TeamSpeak 3's website to find a solution how to update my TeamSpeak 3 free server. Um, how I notif noticed it, I went to my TeamSpeak 3 client and there was a pop-up. But firstly, I'm going to show you how to see what version you're currently running. Go to Teams, uh, to your taskbar, then you go to Teams hidden icons, then you go to your TeamSpeak 3 server. You click right on it, then you go to About, you'll see TeamSpeak 3 server version. This is the version you're currently running. This is version 3.0.10. Uh, the new version is version 3.0.10.1. Uh, you can close this down. Uh, now I'm going to show you how I noticed I need a update on my TeamSpeak 3 free server. You connect to your server, you'll get a pop-up that tells you a new server version is available. This uh, s server is running version 3.0.10. A new version 3.0.10.1 is available. Uh, you can go to the website or you just can go and click onto the link. Um, if you click onto the link, uh, it will open up your browser it will go to teamspeak 3's server you can go to the top right and go to downloads and teamspeak 3 then you will get a list of all the operating systems you can be running um, you'll see client and server we here to update the server so you go to the server your operating systems but uh, three, uh, 32 bit or 64 bit I'm running 64 bits so I'll go download 64 bit um, server uh, already done that uh, you go to the next step then you just uh, select the uh, mark and then you go to submit you'll go to the next thing that you can just tell uh, what you, what you're gonna use it for um, and then you, it will start downloading in a few seconds if you submitted that. Uh, then it will go. T um, it will show you the download complete or open. Then you open it. Uh, you need WinRAR to open the folder. Then you um, you extract all the things in the um, folder that you downloaded and you paste it on a folder onto your desktop. Uh, I already done it. You can see that on the left side. Uh, I, na I named it TS3. Um, if you're done with that, you can close down your TeamSpeak 3 uh, uh, w website. Then you can go and close all of this disconnected down and your TeamSpeak 3 server. Because um, if you copy and replace everything into your old TeamSpeak 3 server, um, it won't copy the EXE because uh, it's running. So you have to close that down. If you close that down, um, you go to the location you stored your TeamSpeak 3 server. Okay, uh, nothing will change. Everything will stay the same. You have you don't have to change your port forwarding. You don't have to do anything. Everything stays the same. You're just updating your TeamSpeak 3. Uh, your client um, uh, admins and uh, channels will stay the same. Um, so don't worry about that uh, if you're if you're worried you can just and go and copy and replace this into other folder to make sure yeah if it's naked or whatever you can come back and just launch your old TeamSpeak uh, then you go to your uh, new TeamSpeak download which you extracted to the desktop you open it you just drag everything and then you just say copy and paste it all over your the rest of your old TeamSpeak. Uh, you say copy and replace everything, go crazy. Uh, then you open your TeamSpeak 3 free server. Uh, you'll see it will open up down at the bottom to your right. You just click on it, you go to about, you'll see your version has been updated. Uh, version 3.0.10.1. Okay, now that's done. You don't have to worry about anything else. Uh, if you go to into your TeamSpeak client, you connected it, you'll see the pop-up is gone. And connected. All the, all the 
all your stuff and everything you changed is still in your TeamSpeak. Everybody can still connect because I'm connected, so you know that's the way everything's going to work. Um, uh, like always, like, subscribe, and comment below.